Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob with me, Rob Bidolf. Here I am in my studio and I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one. It's called Grrr. It's all about a bear called Fred who loses his growl. He's look, he's a medal, gold medal winning bear, a three time champion there. And look, oh, we've got to keep an eye on this chap here. Let me see if I can get him in the screen. There we are. His name's Boris. He has a big part to play in the story, as does Eugene the Owl. One of my favourite stories that I've written, that one. So check that one out. Maybe you've seen this one. It's called Blown Away. This is the board book version of Blown Away. So it's little and it's all shiny. So it doesn't matter if you spill things on it. And it's, all a, it's a story all about Penguin Blue here, who goes out with his kite on a windy day. And he ends up, look, he ends up getting blown away across the sea friends and look where they end up. Whoa! In the jungle. That's a fun story too. But we are here today to draw a picture together. Okay now I thought we would draw another of the characters from my books today. Now I just showed you Blown Away which starred Penguin Blue. There is another Penguin Blue adventure and it's called Sunk. And can you see Blue there? He's dressed up as a pirate and look the word sunk is half under the water. Um, now, it's a really fun story, this one. It's about him and his friends. They play at being pirates, but they end up getting stuck on a desert island, actually. And they have to enlist the help of some undersea creatures. Now, one of those particular creatures is, can you see here, this chap? It's a little puffer fish. Who knows what a puffer fish is? Well, they look, see this one? That is a puffer fish. That's what they normally look like. They swim around looking all normal. And then they can inflate themselves, puff up like a football into a perfectly round sphere with all these little spikes. And they have a very, very important part to play in the story of Sunk. So I thought it might be fun for us to draw a puffer fish today. Often when I sign, when I meet my readers at festivals and things like that, and they all come up and they bring me their books to sign and we have a little chat and stuff. And often when they buy copies of Sunk, that is what I will draw in a copy of Sunk. A puffer fish. They're really, really good fun to draw. I really like to draw them. So let's see, which pen shall I use today? I've got all these pens over here. I think I'm gonna have a go at this one. Let's just make sure it works. Yes, that looks pretty good to me. So this is what you're gonna need, a piece of paper. You're gonna need a pen. It doesn't have to be a brush pen like this. Any old pen will do or a pencil, anything you like. And this one's quite a quick one. This one I reckon will take us maybe about half an hour, something like that. And this is how it works, just in case you haven't watched one of these Draw With Rob videos before. Because lots of people tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing, I like to tell everybody that they can draw. Everybody can draw. This is how it's going to work though. I'm going to draw a little tiny bit on my piece of paper here. They, you can then pause your video, copy exactly what I do carefully. Start the video up again, I'll draw a bit more, then you can draw exactly what I do, then I'll draw more, then you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, and by the end you'll be amazed at what we end up with because it's going to be a really, really lovely drawing. Okay, let's start our puffer fish, shall we? Right, we're going to draw this one right in the middle of our piece of paper here, and we are going to start with a line. About five centimetres long, something like that, and slightly at an angle. So slightly diagonal, like that, okay? Then, at the bottom of the line, we're just gonna curl around and go about a third of the way back up the length of our line. Then we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. Put a mirror image, so like that. So we're gonna leave a little gap in between, just like that. Then let's draw two Let's draw two little lines at right angles to those lines, like that. So it's sort of like a strange T-shape on its side, okay? Now this is, some people find drawing circles very tricky actually. I've always been quite good at it, but uh, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. I think that's the thing. If you're, if you're really worried about making your circle perfect, then you get all nervous and it all goes wrong. But I think it's because I just don't really care. So I just draw my circle and if it's not perfect, so be it. It doesn't matter. Nothing's perfect in life, is it? So I'm going to draw my big circle now. Let's have a look. I'm going to do it in two bits. I'm going to go around there, like that. Join back up with that side. See, that's not perfect. Not perfect at all, but it will do. 
it will do. I'm using my nice brush pen so I can correct a little bit as I go. I always like it with my brush pens when I get these sort of brush marks. I think they really add to the drawing. The only thing I'm always worried about is smudging it with my left hand. So I'm going to try and avoid doing that if I can. So yes, you need to draw a great big circle. So you've got your circle with this funny T-shape sticking out of the end like that. And that is the start of our pufferfish. Okay, now then, we need to add. So basically, this bit, weirdly, is the puffer fish's mouth. They have a little funny little mouth like that. It's almost like they're blowing a kiss. These are the big lips, and that's the mouth. It's funny, isn't it? It's a funny shape. But we're going to draw, the, on the other end to the mouth, is the tail. So let's draw the tail. From the middle of our circle, we're just going to draw a sort of slightly curvy line coming up and out like that. So it's just got a slight little sort of S shape in it, like that. And let's do another one coming off at the other angle. Just like that. So you can sort of see the fish, tape, uh, fish tail shape there. And then we're going to join these two lines up, but again, we're going to do it in a slight curve. Everything under the water is slightly wavy in this particular picture. So there we go, slightly wavy tail at the back of our puffer fish. Thank you, Dave. Then let's give our puffer fish a fin. Uh, is it a fin? Yeah, the little fins, the little flappy fins they use to help steer themselves. We're gonna give them one of them, give him or her one of them, and we're gonna do that down here. So what we do, at about, right, if this is a clock, the tail is at, the clock is wonky. Yeah, the clock is wonky. The tail is at three o'clock. The mouth is at, what's that, nine o'clock. So the fin is gonna be around about six o'clock. We're gonna draw another one of those wavy lines coming down like that. Then we're gonna do another one like that. And then we're gonna join them up with a little wavy line. So it's very similar to our tail shape, but it's just sort of slightly pointing forward. So it's the little fin that's keeping our fish stable. Okay, our puffer fish needs to be able to see. Let's give him or her a nice big eye. So this is how I'm gonna do that. I'm not, well actually, let's start. We'll start by drawing another circle. We're gonna draw the circle, but we're gonna do it towards the front of our fish, so nearer the mouth. So quite big, like that. But what we're gonna do is at the top, we're just gonna add another little line, just coming like that, which is gonna be sort of, it looks like the eye is slightly sort of hooded. It just gives it a little bit of direction. It looks like the eye is slightly inset in the body, you see. It's just a little visual trick, which is a nice little detail to add to our picture. Okay, let's do the pupil. We're gonna make our, I think we'll make our puffer fish look where he or she is going. So we're gonna do it right over to the left-hand side of the eye. Like that. Oh, cute, I like this guy. Now, do you remember what I said? So the reason they, inflate themselves is to, I think is to make and now I'm not sure we might need to do some fact check in here I think they do it to make themselves look a bit more scary to predators so just make themselves bigger so if a bigger fish comes along and looks like it might want to eat them they just do that and um, it makes them look a bit scary just in case I'm wrong I'm going to leave a space at the top of my picture here and I will put up the real reason, okay? So you might see some type appearing up there now, which gives the real reason, because I'm going to do some research. I never do my research before I record the videos, you see? Schoolboy error. Should have done that, shouldn't I? But hopefully <laughs> you can read now the real reason that pufferfish blow themselves up like that. Okay, but what I do know is when they do it, there's sort of these little spikes appear on their body. So we need to cover our puffer fish in little spiky shapes. So what we're gonna do, you've got to imagine the center of the circle's there and all of these spikes need to be pointing towards the center even though they're on the outside of the circle. So we're gonna draw one spike like that, another one there, and another one there. And then we're gonna do them all the way around. His little round body, like that. And can you see what I mean? They're all pointing towards the center of the circle, almost like the digits on a the clock. They all sort of go towards the center, don't they? And we're gonna go all the way around. I reckon I can get one more in there. So we cover our puffer fish with little spikes. And also there would be spikes here as well, but because 
They're a bit trickier to draw. I tell you what we'll do. We're just going to do lots of little circles. So that it's almost like they're the ends of the spikes. But we're going to cover the whole body in those. Except we're going to draw an eyebrow. Let's draw a little eyebrow just there to give our fish a little bit more personality. And then we'll do all these circles sort of going around the eyebrow. Like that. One more down there. There we go. Hey, lovely little puffer fish. I tell you what, the fins, why don't we just add some little thin lines just to the ends of each fin, like that. So the fin, sorry, and the tail. And again, we're gonna make them a little bit curly. This time they all should sort of go towards the middle, like that. It'll be slightly different lengths. There we go. Oh, he's cute, I like him. Okay, and the last bit we, of detail we need to add to our drawing is our pufferfish is going to be blowing little bubbles because remember, he or she is underwater. So we're just going to do a series of circles, maybe starting small. You could fill a couple of them in if you want. And they're going to be getting slightly bigger. And look, oh dear, whoop, that one's popped. Oh dear, one of the bubbles has popped. That one's all right. We'll do another little colored in one there. And we're going to do them getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we go up our page. We'll even add one look going off the side of the page, like that. And then you can add a few more little ones in and around our bubble. So it's a lovely little bubbly stream coming out of our puffer fish's mouth. Just like that. Often I think these little tiny details, they just add real depth of texture to your drawing and they make it nice and varied. So we've got lots of big, bold shapes like that. And then lots of little, tiny, delicate ones as well. You see what I mean? Lovely. Okay, I think that's it for our outline, our puffer fish outline. Should we do some coloring? Guess what I'm gonna say? You know what I'm gonna say. You can color your puffer fish any color you like. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like. I might do mine sort of shades of blue, I think, because that's what I did in the book Sunk. But you know what? Rainbow spikes. That's all I'm saying, people. Rainbow spikes, I think, would be pretty cool. So off you go. I'm going to see you back here in 30 seconds or so. I'm going to go into super speed mode for my colouring, as per usual. Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Right, my final puffer fish. So you can see I've done some shading. I don't know if any of you have done the apple draw along. I did a draw along with an, a worm coming out of an apple and I talked quite a bit about the shading of the apple to make it look like it's rounded. I've used lots of those techniques with my puffer fish just to make it look like he or she is a little bit kind of rounder than if I just colored her in flat. So there we go, you can see it's basically slightly darker on that side. I've added a bit of shading around the eye and then just, just sort of underneath these little spikes, I've just made it slightly darker like that towards the bottom right hand side of each. And that sort of gives the illusion that they're sort of sticking up out of, out of the body, if you see what I mean. So there we go, I'll just add a couple of little blacker lines just like that, just to give that illusion. Um, I've added lots of little kind of circles and bubbly bits around just to make it look like it's an underwater scene. But I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that puffer fish. I hope you've had fun drawing yours and have used lots of amazing colours. Shall we sign our drawings? I'm going to sign mine here. I'm going to use, do my full signature today. Why not? I've got a bit of space here. So there we go. Rob bit off. There's my puffer fish drawing. Don't forget to sign your lovely artworks. Of course, I'd like to see them all. So what you need to do? 
get somebody to take a picture of your drawing and then post it using this hashtag, draw with Rob, okay? Uh, and if you're in Facebook, if you've watched this video in Facebook, you can put your picture in the comments below um, and that way I'll get to see it, but otherwise post it using, using that hashtag and then hopefully I'll get to see it. Who knows your drawing might make the grid. So I hope you've had fun. I certainly have. I'm going to be back very soon with another Draw With Rob video. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Keep on drawing, keep on practicing. Remember, drawing is a muscle. It needs to be exercised. So have fun. Do lots of drawing. And I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. to see me that soon did you <laughs> i hope you really enjoyed that video that you've just watched i can't wait to see the drawings that you've done don't forget to share them using the draw with rob hashtag i just wanted to pop up here and remind you that the draw with rob activity book is out now if you would like to grab yourself a copy you can get it from wherever you get books from and it's full of really cool things for you to do coloring pages lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters that we've done on these videos here and there's a little frame for you to draw your pictures in. Perforated edge so you can tear the picture out easily and stick it up on the wall. But there's loads of really cool things for you to do. As I said, colouring pages, um, little thing. I started drawings off and you've got to finish them, that kind of thing. And then right at the end, if you go through the book and you really enjoy yourself, look, there's even your very own certificate to stick up on your wall to say that you are officially an ace artist. So there you go. That book is available now. I'll stick a link somewhere in the post or on the YouTube page for you if you are interested in buying it. In the meantime, this time I really am going. I'll see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care.